Welcome back to Lawrence McKenna channel with um, Collaborator. Um, the good one. Nah, it's gone. The one that everyone goes, why are you trying to do it like him? Um, it's James <laughs> Allcott. We're, we're going to be doing a, a Liverpool review later on his channel after another brilliant Champions League game in Glasgow. Thank you so much to BT Sport, where the Champions League, the Europa League and so much more is live and exclusive on BT Sport. Mm. I'd say it's the home. I'd say it's the home of it. It mm. is the home of it. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about some of it, because uh, I, I've got a lot of Liverpool theories. Of course. But sometimes I wonder if maybe I'm a little biased. Sometimes maybe I'm a little bit like, you know, oh, well, maybe if I just reach for this, maybe if in the long run we sign Jude Bellingham, it'll be all right. Yeah. Or is it just the end of an era? Or is this, you know, Ooh. how do you see it? Because you do a lot of, like, analysis. You do a lot of reading from the outside. You hate Liverpool, I know that, from all your videos. I've certainly got an agenda. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, although, however you identify is okay, I just think the best thing to do is is work out what you think because that's important. I think like my like people how people perceive my gender, it's confusing. Right, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I think when it comes to Liverpool, ultimately, when you... T I, I re this feels really blasé and people right. hate it. I do think the Mane thing is huge. Right. And the reason I think that it lends itself to a decline of sorts mm -hmm. and then thus you need a rebuild is when you've got such... A well-oiled machine mm -hmm. and you lose one part of it even if you bring in other players that are good that's the other thing people think well oh because Mane is good that means I'm saying someone's bad I'm not saying that I'm saying but Liverpool have been at the it? optimum right they have been perfect mm -hmm. that's what everyone kind of talks about oh the only reason City haven't won it by loads and loads of points is because Liverpool have been pretty much perfect that is that is so true but if you take one little element take one cog out of the machine the chemistry and how you do things and how quick... This is the most important mm. thing, I think, in football nowadays. How quickly do you do things? When you watch, you know, watch different levels of football, the thing that you see differently is the pace at which people do things. Mm -hmm. And when you're not thinking about it, you're just doing it, mm -hmm. it's quicker and it, and it kills, right? And that's the thing, I think, with Liverpool at this moment in time, is that that first element of lo losing someone like Mane, who is so complete, so professional so tenacious um, and so sort of bedded into that football club and what they have created, when you take him out, there will be a bit of a drop off. And then sadly, it's both extremes of needing to be perfect, but also the spotlight on any top club. Mm. It's, it's tough, isn't it? So when that happens, then everyone like ourselves, you start chipping at it, you start talking about it. There's so much conversation around it. Um, they, yeah, I guess that yeah, I, I totally see where you're coming from, and, and so there has been a decline towards your question. Yeah, and and well, yeah. Um, thanks, Captain Obvious. Um, <laughs> no, I think that. Um, but really, people, no, but, but people think is it, is it a, that's the thing you're seeing. Is, is it, it a blip? Like, is it or a blip? Or is it a right. decline? I think the it grass is a, goes down. Is the, what you I think the grass is definitely going down, well, and the grass I think goes where I want it. To be. Well, good point. Yeah. But I would say even if it then comes up, back up, I don't think at this moment in time, I don't think the ceiling can reach the same watermark okay. as the last couple of seasons. It's always, I always find it interesting because obviously um, one, one thing about, obviously if you're thinking on your own on a channel, sometimes you can sort of, you lead yourself down similar routes all the time. Right. And I've done a lot of theories as to why Liverpool aren't good. I've done the Trent thing. I've done the Matip and Joe Gomez thing. I've done the midfield not having the right shape. I've done the front line not pushing enough or, you know, uh, whatever. It's not... It's not um, pressing, but it is chasing or whatever Pep Linder says. I've done the, is it a transfer thing? I've done the, is it a, is it a system change? Is it a confidence thing? Mm. And I, I, your Mane thing really made me think for a second just about sometimes just handy to chat to someone else. There isn't, the, so it, there isn't just one thing to put your finger on. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, making a video where you go, well, it's nuanced. Doesn't really always work. Yeah. And also, I think other fans and fans of other clubs will watch Liverpool and won't have that same history of watching seven years or six, seven years now, probably seven years last week. Yeah. And knowing what to cheer, what you're looking for, like all those kind of things. Like, you know, you know that, that as especially a fan who's had loads of different managers recently, every manager has their little thing that the fans go, he wants that, we'll cheer that. Right. And Klopp has that, right? And I think the conclusion I came to where you were talking was Liverpool are doing too much at once. So they're trying to change too many things at the same time. Yeah. So what they've done is that they've, they've, what they have to do is... Alisson is, I think, a constant, and I don't think there's any real reason to question no. him or change him. Exactly. 
Van Dijk, well, I think we assumed was a constant, and actually I think in a solid system is probably at least a, 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 con a constant for one, maybe two, maybe maybe three more seasons at a push, depending on his um, fitness. Sure. But I think he's, because he sets such a high standard, he is now judged by only that. And so anything below that, people go, drop off, done. That's and that's easy for other fans as well, who maybe don't watch him as often, they'll look just for the mistakes, or they'll watch highlights of match of the day, and someone goes, see, there he's out of position. But for 89 minutes, Broadly, yeah. right. I think you're, it's for, whilst you're talking, you're going on a journey with your channel mm. of understanding that even Subscribe though. on the journey. Of course. Right. Uh, even though there's a title, mm -hmm. we, you, you're sort of thinking, you're trying to explain to people it's not binary, mm -hmm. but they know, that's the reason why they're watching you, because they know, oh, he's not going to just say it's binary. They look at, the, he's non binary. But at say. the same time, like, say, like, um, let's bring it to football manager for a second, there's this thing where you go, you can see your what your team's good at at different mm -hmm. things. That's the way I look at it. So say we're looking at getting paid for you to say that in the video. No, no, no. no. Yeah. This the new one's out, by the way. It's oh, really is it? good. Yeah, um, yeah. The, but my point is, is that sometimes people go black, white. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that there are loads of different attributes to uh, to uh, to the and problem I, and of I Liverpool right that. now. What I'm but also, some can have a higher percentage than others. And I agree with that. So there is this little chart of all the things that are changing. I also think, in order to change what so. The, a real issue they have is there's a number of agendas operating in a number of different ways at the club and I don't think they're for a while they all synced and were in harmony mm. and I don't think they're there anymore so I think the owners have got this agenda now of how they want to spend which is we either want to buy superstars or bring someone through from the academy and start them young yeah and it, it leaves you very little room for a Minamino, Origi, Shakiri, those kind of players who are in some ways vital squad players yeah then you've got Klopp and Pep Linders who want to change the system mm -hmm. to more like a 4-2-4, but more like a 4-2-3-1. It's adaptable. Sure. It's a bit more, it's a bit closer to like a Dutch style of football, which is a bit more controlling. And therefore you need to maybe press a little less or the press is slightly different. They're trying to do that. At the same time as losing significant figures or significant, significant figures declining within the team. And then they'll have to integrate new people. So you're trying to integrate Nunez, replace Sadio Mane's goals, to manage Jordan Henderson, James Milner, and whoever else is decline, yeah. whilst also then uh, moving away from a Thiago-based system that they played for the last two seasons, and change the whole shape of the team, and then go, Bellingham might be in next summer, or Bellingham might be in in January, or a big signing will be here. So all the players go, well, what's my future? Like, what's going on there? That's a lot of... Yeah, and in, in football, we're not allowed to accept that this isn't the year. Mm. You can't, Liverpool can't go and go, look, Things are changing here. See, I wonder if Leicester City are doing this, and like, the, I guess the proof of oh, it. Oh, certainly. That. They're literally going for for us to get fourth is a is a bit of a miracle, and everything needs to come together. At the moment, we've got a squad that's gone. It's got sort of. Uh, it's getting a little bit rotten in terms of the age and then the quality of the other players that came through. So that's a little bit rotten. <laughs> so they, they, I wonder if it'll be interesting to see if less than next year spend loads of money, right. build a squad, and you go, oh. And the mm. same goes with say Arsenal. I think there's sometimes there's growing pains of last year and people going, see, Arteta's not the guy, yeah, right, but actually yeah. it's part of a bigger plan. Mm. I think the one problem that you have in football is that I, I don't know NFL well enough, but I think sometimes there's an understanding that. Oh, this is a this is a transition year, and it will be yeah. next year. In Liverpool, for Liverpool, in terms of the PR of everything, they're not allowed to say that, well, and the fans because... aren't allowed to accept it either. Right, so also... that makes it very difficult for you because then people start getting like well, over the top angry. Yeah, there's like a received knowledge of well, you're always competing in football, and that's part of the yeah. myth of the whole thing, right? And the opposite of it of your your kind of quitting. Oh, what don't you want to win these things? Because yeah. it's all about trophies, but like. There's always another season. <laughs> but there is also a bit of a biting point for Liverpool or like this apex they need to be in where they are competing and they look competitive because also sponsors go, well, we want to be associated with success. And obviously sure. to Liverpool, success is a title. It's not staying in the top four or winning, uh, you know, like winning uh, Europa League. It is saying the Champions League and the Premier League. And that's not saying the club has always been there and they deserve to be there or whatever. That's what I'm saying is what the current sponsors will have been sold, what Nike will have been sold, what Dunkin' Donuts or whoever else will have been sold is we're competing in the Premier League every year. You're going to be on the front of that shirt and we're going to be globally exposing you. You're going to get to a further stage in the Champions League because you sponsor us. You're going to get more, you know, big Sunday night games and big Monday games and whatever it is because you're with us. We are the product that you want to sell. And so they have to kind of keep competing. You can't, like, Standard Chartered doesn't go, 
It doesn't go, we want to be associated with mediocrity and rebuilding. No, I like, get that. That doesn't work. I, I get that, I get that. No, that, and that's what makes it all difficult. The truth is, mm -hmm. you're not as good as you were. Yeah. You could be great again, mm -hmm. but that won't be this year. I, no, and I and in many ways I sort of I kind of made peace with that. Yeah. Also because that's having fun though. City be, that can be fun too. In a way, but it's not fun to then have to sit around and justify it every two. But this weeks. way's not fun. That like, and then you go, oh, see, I told you, be positive. It's just that I thought that this way was like that way, that way. <laughs> so and, and actually, it turns out it's more <laughs> well, of a yeah. Welcome to the rest of it. No, but I mean, the the fact is, in my life, I've had um, Roy Evans, you know, Gerard Houllier. Oh, that's a bit of a uptick. Rafa Benitez, expectation went like Don't that. Don't do the Hodgson thing. Yeah. Don't do the Hodgson thing. Rafa Benitez, expectation went like that. And then, who replaced Rafa? I don't really. And then, uh, after that, not so good. Yeah. Kenny yeah. Dalglish, sort of, oh. Yeah. What happened there, mate? Mm. Not the T-shirt. Oh, we're not going to have a go at him, though, because yeah. he's a legend. Yeah. No, um, and you know what? He stabilised the club. That's when, when someone... Like, I get it. He's, you know, obviously, he's a club legend. But like, yeah, and yeah. what he did is insane uh, back in the day. Well, it was amazing. It's all but in the modern yeah. day, everyone goes, well, he just stabilised the club. Ollie's just stabilised the club. <laughs> uh, that's the way it works. Yeah, yeah. And then after that comes Brendan Rodgers. And that felt, felt was very up and down. And then Klopp just felt like this constant, like, rocket to the moon, as yeah. Bill Shankly said. Like... And so after that, when you have to come back from the moon and go, bit of refueling here, lads, everyone goes, oh, what a come down. Like, you've been to the moon, you know? Yeah, but I think the thing to remember is, how long, Klopp's been there seven years. How long have you been to Liverpool? About four or five years now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, wait, it would, be a, it would probably be, a, it, in my living memory, 25 years probably. Yeah, so, so you have to remember, the norm's not Klopp. No, but that's the point. So no, no, but that's not my point. The norm for me is not Klopp. But the norm for every other fan is taking interest in Liverpool and this consult, like everyone sort of in the past went, Gerard Houllier, disregard, yeah, yeah. you know, Brendan Rodgers, that's disregard. Called, but that's called entitlement. Sorry. Sorry. For, uh, fans on me. No, not you. For, for fans that think that way, and I think generally Liverpool fans are brilliant at that, at going, wow, this is great right now. And also because of the 30 years before that, wow, this won't go on forever. Mm. That they're not, but some fans are entitled. Mm. So anyone who gets overly angry... Are, yeah, they're inside. Do you know what else is interesting? And I'll finish, I'll finish on this thought. Exciting. Eckhart Tolle, the um, famous theorist. Of course. Don't know how to spell it. Um, I, I think it's E-C-K-H-A-R-T. What a name. Right? Good name, fellow. He says, right, the ego gets a bit agitated when it's not living in the moment. Right? So when you're now, brilliant. But when you think of the past and you get sad or reminiscent, that will maybe irritate you a little bit sometimes maybe it can make you sad or like right. you miss what you had and when you think of the future that can irritate sort of an anxiety especially if you don't know what's coming yeah there can be anticipation that can be exciting but it's not the same for the ego as living in the moment living in the moment is best for the ego it sort of keeps it at this like equilibrium especially if the moment you know is something you can make peace with yes right Fine. liverpool fans and the Jurgen Klopp had a, an extended period of going I love the, the present, moment. Yeah. And going, I love this bit. And no other fan could say anything that overwrote that, mm. right? There was no one who could go, yeah, but you only won one minute. There was nothing. The clock was magic, mm. right? And now there's a looking back at the past and going, oh, miss that. And looking at the future and going, there is, wait, is that Instagram account that says clock is finished and washed <laughs> right? And do I have to admit to a faceless Instagram account yeah. that, you know, three at the back is the best? Like, all these things that mass up as you scroll through your timeline, those kind of things. The seven year one does my head in. The seven year one really <laughs> does my head in. So, well, it's a similar number. Is it a curse? So there's a pattern. It's a seven year curse, is it? Well, as if he runs out of speeches on seven years and goes, no more stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh. No way. <laughs> so, end, end of cycle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now I have to quit. You're meant to get demoralised now. So. But it's all like. Oh God, it always gets deep, doesn't it, when we talk about like, football is life, and so like the bad bits make the better bits exactly. better in mm -hmm. when you have those experiences. Mm. So like the Champions League and losing the league for Liverpool. Yeah, so I just think it's it's been so great for so long, and at, in elite sport you have to be so good, and they they sort of dip beneath, beneath those levels, and it, it's it's wobbling them all for a second. Right, but that, even that in confidence, yeah, even in that Arsenal game. You could tell it wasn't right. You could tell it didn't feel right, but didn't. you could certainly tell that they were all giving everything. Like, there's no, like, downing of tools. So, no. like, you'd get there. You'd be fine. 
and that's that's the that's the dynamic uh, bombastic conclusion you'll get there you'll be all right uh yeah if you guys are interested in getting there and being all right then head over to bt sport they've got a great app there you can also obviously just watch it on the tv as well if you want to we both watch bt sport on um bt sport because you must because it has exclusive rights right. to the champions league and uh, much more but it also includes in the europa league so arsenal fans i've got you covered um yeah thanks a lot for watching the channel uh, head over to james we'll be doing a review later if you're not ready to subscribe what are you on 200k now 208 wow whoa uh, always looking for more it really rockets after was that was it go 200 and then 208 quick if, if anything it's slowed down guys so if you could pop over and hit the button that'd be wonderful they're definitely shared viewers well we don't yeah. know no we do um Enjoy it. We'll see you guys later on his channel. Enjoy uh, it. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy it. it. Enjoy <laughs> it. See you in a bit. Bye.